So the strategy of how to pick these jurors, right? What are you looking for? If you're Alex Murdoch, what kind of juror do you want? Because don't forget, they all kind of know about this case. They might even know you or some of the witnesses. And if you're the prosecutor, what kind of juror do you want? Because again, you're dealing with the same hurdles, but for different reasons. Susan Constantine is a trial strategy expert and jury consultant. She joins me now live. Kind enough to do so, because boy, you've got all the answers. I don't even know where to begin. I truly don't, Susan. I really don't know what they would be looking for. Tell me what, what they need, either side. Well, what you're looking for is, first of all, to understanding what are the strengths and the weaknesses of this case. And then you have to take into consideration, to who he is and the influence that he has in that community. So then you compile in your thoughts of what you're actually going to look for. So if I were the prosecution, because Murdoch is very wealthy, he's very, well, he has been very well respected in the area. We've got lots of family members that, that um, are well known. I'm gonna go for the middle class. So I'm gonna be rooting for the middle class those that are more rule followers, ones that um, hold uh, integrity and character uh, at high value, they tend to be more critical thinkers. You know, they are able to dissect information and kind of not to be so empath empathetic. Um, and also those that are that tend to, to do, I think of like a family of someone that is saving a lot of money to buy a vacation to come to Orlando, Florida. You know, that's the kind of profile that I'm looking for for the prosecution. Now, for the defense, I'm going to look for people that are a little bit more skeptical, right? I'm going to look for people that tend to be more curious. Um, they may have trust issues, right? And they're more imaginative. So they're the types of people that are much more of the creative brain type, those that are kind of thinking through things. And, and they may not take things at face value, right? So that's what's, what I'm looking for when I'm looking at the two different types. But the bottom line is, Ashley, is once they start asking the questions, I'm going to be analyzing every little nuance of their facial expressions, their, their shoulder shrugs, their smirks, and so forth, looking for little indicators that are telling me a different story. Because what they say is not really always how they really feel and think. And right. that's... You know what I always yeah. say? <laughs> People always say, darn those rubberneckers in traffic. And then as soon as they go by the accident, what do they do? They, they rubberneck as well. You're right. So there's three things that I'm curious about in this case, because this is, again, very different with a guy like Alex Murdoch um, as defendant. How can you tell if some of those jurors might be afraid of Alex Murdoch. So number one, because they, you know, the Murdochs wielded so much power in this community and they actually could be afraid of him. How can you tell if they're stealth jurors, they got an, uh, you know, another modus operandi, they want to make a bunch of money off of, you know, Netflix uh, after the trial, or they want revenge because they've been crossed by the Murdochs and they want to get on that jury and get their revenge. How, can you spot all that? Yes, you can, but the but you have to ask those probative questions to bring that out. So I'm looking at how are they responding to questions that would invoke certain emotions. So one of the things is the ones that you said were fearful, right? So I'm envisioning if I'm looking for somebody that's fearful, they're going to be leaning back or leaning to the side. They're going to be doing, doing some sort of face covering because they're trying to kind of melt into the group, right? Those that are more those... Uh, the, the, the stout jurors, right? They want to be on that case. So they're the ones that are leaning forward. I remember the Casey Anthony trial. We were there together, too, if you remember that, Ashley. And and we ha we saw one of them was leaning forward. He was a four person. He was, and, and they're a very anxious type of person. And then the other one is, is that, you, and, and, and I forget, what was the third one you asked me? The third one was the revenge, but we got to do it quickly. Angry, those that are got those furrowed eyebrows, the pinched lips, the the face that has more um, uh, muscle uh, tightness in it. Those that are holding anger, very critical, one eyebrow up. So yes, you can definitely tell. I want a camera trained on you in a courtroom <laughs> as you work. I just want to see what you're doing, Susan Constantine. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get you back because we're not done yet. We still have more of the jury pool to go through tomorrow as well. He set aside three days for it. I don't know how they're going to do it in three days, but they, they work pretty quickly. Thank you for this. My pleasure, friend.